Hi everyone, so I'm back with another performances and reviews. This time I'm reviewing Vidya Subramaniam's tribute performance to her teacher Shumati Galandati Narayanan. As all of us know that um, we sadly lost her a year ago and um, Vidya was obviously performing and touring um, the Europe, she went to France, she went to Italy and I um, saw on Facebook that she was performing in Paris. Now Paris isn't that far for those living in the UK and I'm a huge fan of Vidya's um, Parthenatium. So I decided to uh, take a, a sleeper coach from uh, London to Paris, which is like seven hours, almost like going on, on a plane, but it was by a coach and it was quite an interesting journey. I fell asleep um, throughout most of it anyway. So I spent a nice day in Paris and then I went to, um, yes, I spent the day um, being a tourist, doing all touristic things. As you can see in my vlog, um, if you watch the other videos, I, um, I think come about six o'clock, I made my way to um, the theatre, which was in the, I think, southwest region of Paris. Um, so yeah, it was it was actually really romantic and it was really kind of like um, enthusiastic because it was raining and it was quite dramatic. And um, I from the station I had to take a bus uh, to the theatre and then the theatre was in the middle of this park uh, called Theatre du Soleil. And um, it w the venue looked like a barn. It looked like a kind of a you know ashram kind of a thing. And when I was talking to a few of the girls there who were um, students of Kalpana Mayer, who was the artist who was monumental in bringing uh, Vidya Supramaniam to Paris. And uh, they conducted, a, I think, a one-week workshop um, at the organization Arta, who, who, whom are based at the theater premises, um, and where I got to uh, later on interview Vidya, um, I, the, which the video I will post um, as well on the channel. So on with the review, um, I very, very uh, comfortably sat down on the, on the stage level um, because all the seats, it was an absolutely jam-packed performance. People were, I think they, were, they oversold tickets and I think people were very, very enthusiastic to watch her. Um, French people love Bhartanatyam and their enthusiasm and interaction even as an audience was um, incredible, something that I haven't witnessed. Um, so that was really nice to kind of um, kind of experience with the Parisians and the French people. Um, Vidya began her performance with Jaya Jaya Devi. This is a Hindi composition um, by Swati Thirunal and Vidya opened in a very beautiful pose, um, sitting in the Kapitha and she she held it really nicely. It was a nice opening and a nice invocation to Devi, um, to Saraswati Devi. I hadn't heard, heard this composition before, so for me it was um, quite, um, quite nice. And yeah, she set the tone. She did some beautiful movements. Nice start to what was to follow, uh, which was to be, I think, um, one of the best performances I've ever seen. After the JJ Devi, um, Vidya moved on to doing the epic Purandara Dasa piece, Jagado Dharana. Now, I've seen Jagado Dharana done by lots of different dancers, but I quite liked uh, Vidya's mature and nuanced understanding of the piece. She didn't do the usual literal hands, she interwove them with sancharis of Krishna's different avatarams and her reacting as Yashoda, which was quite unique, and Vidya's understanding of um, the text and of the gods and 
of I think of the conversation that I had with her afterwards, it all kind of made sense of how she dances and why she dances the way how she does and how she expresses most importantly. Because in Paritanatium it is about expression. It's movement with expression and it's a message in movements. So when you watch someone like Vidya, who's so mature and sublime, because she gets what spirituality is, she gets what um, bhakti is, she gets what shringara is. And when these three things meet, um, for me, what emerges is um, a performer like Vidya Subramaniam. Abhinaya, which is, I think, very, very developed, it's, it's more to do with understanding um, the context more than trying to make it happen on the face. It's, it's what you've understood in your mind is what plays out when you're expressing. So the, the, the poet kind of goes through these, these two uh, metaphors of him being this great god, yet Mother Yashoda plays with him, takes care of him, and you know, puts him to sleep, and does all the motherly things. So Vidya brought out that sensitive Vatsalya Bhava, um, ending, that, ending on that note where, she, where you almost saw the Krishna in front of you. And um, Vidya is stunningly, enchantingly beautiful. And yeah, it's something that I don't think she um, depends on because her dance and her artistry is, speaks for itself. It, it goes beyond her beauty, but being stunningly beautiful, um, I think, you know, amps up her performance, I think, one million percent. So it's watching her do these pieces was just incredible. Let me talk about more of the pieces because um, I'm, I'm, I'm in such an awe even talking about it, remembering the performance that I, that I saw that evening. Uh, she then did Nagendra Haraya, which is the Adi Shankaracharya piece, um, which had nice little, little jatis in, in, in between. Um, and yeah, it was a nice meditative uh, piece to what she'd already established. Um, then she did uh, a series of Abhinaya pieces. She first did the Javali Era Rara. Um, Vidya nicely introdu introduced each piece in very clear English for everyone to understand. As people watched Vidya do, do this, a lot of the audience members were giggling and laughing at the sarcasm that she um, did and at the, at the humoristic qualities that she did. When she was, every time she looked at Manmatha in a kind of a um, <laughs> in a funny way, because you know he kept bugging, he kept showering his flowery arrows at her, um, and the interaction between the Naika and um, the hero in this case, Lord Vishnu. Um, the French audience really got that, and I think that's something I've not seen: is this clapping, is this you know laughing, this this camaraderie between the performer and the the audience. Um, something I think. I think Indians need to do. Um, I think the French have, have it down and they understand every nuance, especially from a, a clear performer like Vidya. So Irara was, I think, 100 out of 100 for me. Uh, there's no, there's, there's no, there was no vague interpretation. Everything was, you know, very, very clearly done. For those of you who don't know the composition, I'll just say English translation. Irara is, um, come now is the time. I can't bear my mother's arrows. You are the handsome one whom I seek with all my heart. You are compassionate to me. You are compassionate to all, but not to me. Um, then she did Chikavane Ivano, which is another Purandara Dasa piece. I quite like this one because it started off on a very, you know, casual, playful note, but ended on a very um, profound um, spiritual note. Um, as the composition goes, um, where the gopis are talking to each other. So one gopi is telling um, the other gopi, he asked me how babies were born. When I refused to tell him, he pestered me greatly. Another gopi says, when I was going to fetch water, he called out to me. I refused to stop, he blocked my path. And when I didn't want to embrace him, he broke my pot. Yet another woman says, when I was almost asleep, I mistook him to be my husband and embraced him. When I woke up and discovered my mistake, he held my hand and said that he is the great Purandara Vitala. How can he be a small boy? How can we capture him? So 
for me, this last line was really, really, really nice and really profound because this is where she, um, where she made the audience understand that Krishna is not just any other normal boy, and um, but he is Mahavishnu. He is the great, you know, great preserver, protector of the universe, you know. Um, and I think it's that it's it's that understanding of our art form that we and of our gods um, in Hinduism that we are all personifications and we are all um, embodiments of the divine cosmic energy and we have just given God has just given these names to these gods for us to um, identify with but that was incredible the way how she showed um, that whole thing of when she fell asleep with him, uh, mistaking Krishna to be her husband, and when she woke up, him holding her hand, and then, and then he disappeared, and you know she was looking for him, and then she kind of just, then she she in her understanding it was it was the universe, it was the, the cosmic energy of the universe that you know, Krishna is more than just, this naughty child. So maybe, for me, what I took away from that is that we are all, you know, personifications of God, whether it be Krishna, whether it be Shiva, whether it be Devi, you know, whoever, whoever God that you relate to and the characteristics that you do. Um, and for me, it's every man can be Krishna, and every man is Krishna, but not as divine, not as, you know, godly, not as, not with the special spiritual magic. That was one of my favourite pieces of the evening, Chikkavane. She then um, continued with, with the incredible Padam um, that we all Bhatanatim dancers learn at some point, Indindu Vachitti Vida um, by Subrahma Dikshitar. Here, um, obviously, the, the, the Naika is a Kandita Naika, an angry woman who who's, talks with a lot of sarcasm. You know, why have you come to my door? And when when Vidya was explaining this, it was phenomenal. You know, when she when she when she speaks about her pieces, she does it with the same drama, dialogue, and abhinaya that's required. So when you watch her actually perform the piece, you know you're following her through and through. Um, Vidya uh, should do a, a workshop for professional Bharatanatyam dancers of how to present an evening of Bharatanatyam and also how to. Um, how to be a professional dancer, you know, she should, I think, share some of her tips, that's if she's willing to. I would definitely want to come for that workshop. Uh, maybe it's something we can organise with you in Leicester or in the UK or in London or whenever you're, whenever I can catch hold of you and make you do something like this. Because it was, because in, 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 in Dindu and the, the general um, descriptions of her um, pieces, it was just so um, easy to follow and mesmerizing the, the the sarcasm here was 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 funny it was hilarious uh, yet you know a very 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 angry woman I have seen um, in Dindu done by different people and some people do it in a very kind of mock mock angry way some people do it in a very kind of you know very serious way um, Vidya had that understanding of of the being very angry yet very sarcastic which brought out um, that kind of balance of humour, and I quite I think that's how it's supposed to be done. Um, so obviously, with her with her maturity, she was able to bring that out. She um, then uh, completed her abhinaya uh, pieces with Guru Yadu Nandana, the incredible Ashtapadi, where um, after a night of passionate love making, Radha tells Krishna to apply sandalwood paste around her breasts and to dress her again. Um, this, I've seen this piece again a million and one times by different, different dancers, uh, but I think what Vidya's version was the best I've seen. It, people tend to, dancers tend to do this in a very overtly sexual way, an overtly sensual way, you know, with the, with the whole holding of the, the mudras, uh, you, know, you know, showing it in a very, 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 um, erotic way. Vidya did it with so much uh, dignity and sensuality. Krishna, 
Anoint my breasts with creeper dipped, creepers dipped in musk and cooling sandal paste. My hair has come undone, while it was set beautifully with flowers before, which have been strewn everywhere because of our passion. Now redecorate my hair. Decorate my hips with jewels and clothing, which were removed during our lovemaking. Um, what I really enjoyed um, in this piece was, was her interaction with her Krishna that she was seeing. And um, it wasn't provocative in any way. It was, it was this intimate um, glance, yet it was the subtlety in that glance which said everything. Um, and yeah, she was very emotional and she was, she, got, she was crying and she was, you know, kind of really into that experience. And for me then it just says that, you know, that relationship between two people, whether, you know, you see your husband or your partner as Krishna or as Radha, is a very divine thing um, if expressed in that way. And that's, and I think she showed that, you know, she really, um, for her, it's 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 this divine experience. Uh, whether you're doing an Abhinaya piece about, um, you know, just having made love with Krishna, imagining imagining yourself being Radha, or otherwise, you know, I think there was a lot of um, there's a lot of metaphors in this piece for people to take away. Um, so yeah, very very uh, masterful performance um, of this um, Ashtapadi ended her performance with a Raja Rajeshwari Ashtakam Tillana. So she had obviously uh, taken lyrics from Adi Shankaracharya's Raja Rajeshwari Ashtakam and she had intertwined it with a Tillana. It was, the music was composed by Rajkumar Bharati, all the different forms of Devi and it was a nice piece. It was nice to end with Devi. I very, very much love Devi um, pieces. Very, very empowering, very, very strong. Um, so yeah, that ended her performance and it was a absolutely phenomenal evening and it was for me a well worth trip going all the way from the UK to, to Paris to watch this. Um, my intention to go there was to review it and to watch a great evening of Parthanatyam, which it definitely was. I'd like to thank Vidya for allowing me to do this review. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I can't say anything negative because there was nothing negative negative to say. Her nritta and her physical form um, was was sufficiently strong. Um, what I feel nowadays with Bhatanatyam, it's it's all become very very athletic, which is really nice. But I think Bhatanatyam done like this, where the technique is given importance, but not so much importance. Um, it's about the whole package of having. Um, having an expressive face, um, having a, a calling to spirituality and, and infusing that with your, with your good, strong technique. Vidya Subramaniam had all of that um, in the right balance. Nothing was overpowering, nothing kind of, you know, I, I, I can't even say that, you know, her nritta was better or her abhinaya was better. Everything was phenomenal, everything was great because it was a wholesome balance. A phenomenal... Um, performer and I think she's she, she's at her pinnacle right now and it was I think just heartwarming to be there and to witness her do this performance and a wonderful tribute to her teacher she did speak of, of uh, Kalanadhi Mami um, when she was doing her Abhinaya pieces and, and how she had taught her these pieces obviously her interpretation of the pieces were not that which were set on her by Mami but She's obviously grown throughout the years and she's made her own variations and, you know, her own interpretation. Uh, the, the ending was epic because um, Vidya was made to come out three times because the, the audience were just clapping away and, you know, she had a standing ovation from everyone. A special mention also for uh, Bhavna Pradyumna who accompanied Vidya live for the three Abhinaya pieces that she performed. Uh, Bhavna's voice is superbly phenomenal. Um, she is a Carnatic vocalist based in Paris. She moved there about a year ago. Bhavna was a fantastic accompaniment. 
I hope you enjoyed that review. Like, comment and subscribe to my channel. There's a lot more performances and reviews coming up. Learn more about everything Indian dance.